Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make an English bridal for Shelly Courses because this has been really requested. So let's get started. You're going to need two or three millimeter ribbon. I'm using the color brown, 20 gauge wire, a model horse to check the size on. Today, Danny is going to be our model. You're also going to need two six millimeter jump rings, scissors, pliers, wire cutters, or an old pair of dull scissors to cut the wire, and of course, a hot glue gun and hot glue stick. The first thing we're going to do is make the nose band. So you're going to take the end of the ribbon and measure it around your horse's nose. And then you're going to cut the little piece of ribbon. So after that, apply just a little bit of glue to one of the ends. Then bring it up and glue that end to the other end. So you're going to have a little loop. And like I said, this is going to be the nose band. And if any glue squeezed out, you just trim that off with the scissors and just be very careful that you don't cut the ribbon because then it's going to fray and it'll be a mess and you usually have to start over. After that, it's good to check the size again just to make sure it turned out the way you wanted it to. Now you're going to take the end of the ribbon and thread it through the nose band and then you're going to fold it up and you're going to glue it back to the ribbon so hopefully that makes sense it's kind of hard to explain but i think you can see what i'm doing here in the video i do want to mention that you want to keep all your glue seams to the inside of the bridle that way you won't see them and it'll look very neat and tidy and also so when you glue on this piece of ribbon you don't want to get any glue on the nose band so you want it to still be able to slide and here's some glue squeezed out so i'm just trimming it up then you're going to cut the ribbon quite short at an angle. Now we need to make some buckles. So you're going to take your wire and your pliers. And I've actually um, showed you how to make buckles in some of my other tutorials. But this is how you do it if you haven't seen them videos. So you place the wire in between the pliers. And you basically just wrap the wire around the tip of the pliers. Then you pull your pliers out. And you get either your doll scissors or your wire cutters whichever you're, you have or decide to use, and you're going to cut the buckle off of the spool wire, and then you're just going to kind of reshape it a little bit with your pliers if it got a little um, squished while you're working with it. And then you just place it on the flat part of the pliers and you squish it. So this kind of um, squishes it all together and it just seals it up so the ribbon doesn't slip out. And then you just trim off the little ends of the wire that are sticking out and you have a buckle, just like that. And you're going to make two more of these. So after the buckles are made, you're going to take one of them and thread it onto the piece of ribbon we glued onto the bridle. So you're just going to thread the ribbon through the uh, bottom of the buckle and then through the top, like I just did. And then you're going to fold down that piece of ribbon and cut off the angle. So the angle is just so it's easier to thread the buckle on. And then you're going to apply a little bit of glue to the end of that ribbon and glue it down. Just make sure you don't get any glue on the buckle because that needs to be, stay loose so it can move. And if any glue squeezes out, of course, you just trim it off. Now you're going to glue another piece of ribbon onto the nose band, just like we did earlier. So you thread it through and then loop it bend it up and then you add a little bit of glue to the end and then you glue it down of course making sure you don't get no glue on the nose band because it needs to be able to slide trim off any glue that squeezed out but this time we are going to instead of cutting it real short we're going to cut it several inches long at an angle again so about that long approximately then you're going to take that end and you're going to thread it through the buckle. So you bring it through the top and then the bottom of the buckle. And as you can see, it should be completely adjustable. 
But now you're going to set that aside and you're going to take one of the buckles we made and you're going to take the end of your ribbon and you're going to thread it through the buckle. So through the top and then thread it through the bottom. Then you're going to pull it to the end of the piece of ribbon. And if your um, ribbon is cut at an angle, you just want to cut that off. And then you're just going to glue down this little piece of ribbon here. So just like we have been doing, making sure you don't get any glue on the buckle. So you're just going to press that together. After that, you're just going to cut it several inches long. I never measure this, so I'm not really sure, but you can see here, you're going to cut it about that long. Then bring that end you just cut and thread it through the buckle that you glued onto the other end. So through the top, then through the bottom, and then just pull that through. So it should be adjustable. You should have adjustable, you should have an adjustable little loop. Next, you're going to take the noseband piece that we made earlier and the throat latch is what we just made and you're going to place those together with the throat latch on top and you're going to take a piece of ribbon and you're going to loop it over both of those and add a little bit of glue to the end of that piece of ribbon. Just be careful you don't get any glue onto the two pieces of ribbon that we looped this over. So those need to easily slide through um, this piece of ribbon that we're gluing on now, which is going to be the brow band. So if any glue squeezes out, you just trim that off and you cut it a few inches long. Now I've made a lot of bridles so I don't measure anymore but you should definitely measure on your horse how long um, the ribbon needs to be if you're not sure. Then you're just going to loop that end over the other side over the same two pieces of ribbon and you're going to trim it up. Um, I thought it was a little too big so I was just shortening it. Then you're going to add a little bit of glue and you're going to glue that down. Once again, making sure you don't get any glue onto the two pieces of ribbon we looped over. <laughs> so hopefully that was probably kind of confusing, but hopefully you've seen what to do from the video clips. Trim off any glue that squeezed out and now you have a brow band. Next step is to open one of the jump rings with your pliers and you're going to thread it onto the bottom end of one of the cheek pieces on your bridle. So this is going to look like a little snaffle bit. So once you get it on, you're just going to close it and do the same thing with the other jump ring on the other cheek piece. So now for the reins, you're going to take the end of your ribbon and you're going to glue it onto one of the jump rings we just attached. And you're going to cut it several inches, oh, about this long, as you can see on the screen. I recommend just measuring on your horse and so you're going to cut it about that long and you're going to take your third buckle and you're going to thread it on to the end of that piece of ribbon and you're going to glue it down. Once again, <laughs> making sure not to get any glue onto the buckle. After that, you're going to glue the end of your ribbon to the other jump ring. Then you're going to cut it a few inches long. Once again, I don't measure, so I recommend, you know, just measuring it on your horse, however long you want your reins to be. Then you're just going to take the end of that ribbon and thread it through the buckle. Then you're just going to put the bridle on your model horse to make sure everything fits and the pieces of ribbon sticking out of the buckles, you're just going to trim them up if they're a little bit too long, like mine were. And add a little bit of glue to the ends, that way they don't fray. Also, you can trim off the end of the piece of ribbon that is sticking out of the buckle for the reins and you're also going to add some glue to it so it doesn't fray. All right, so now your bridle is complete, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!